as you can see we are back on sacred solid ground this is the androids uh extreme super battle road and the reason why i came back here is because many moons ago many ages ago i actually tried doing this uh i think i ended up getting uh, just a personal like doing this without no items i don't remember honestly to be honest with you i don't know if this will show it or not did i use items Oh shit, I use hella items. Oh yeah, that's right, I gave up. <laughs> I gave up on doing this without items. <laughs> I remember trying to get no items, like, multiple times on the stage. And I would just, I would always get caught up on the second one. The second one with, um, uh, I don't even know the names. I forgot the names, but the second one with, um, uh, damn, the GT character. What's the GT character's name? Um... Let's see, let's go for AGL here. I can't remember the GT character's name. Um, Rildo, and then I, I don't know what the other one was. But I always would go there, and that would be the most annoying thing. Like, that would be the crazy bottleneck. That's hilarious. That's literally the worst thing that could have happened there. As I was saying, the second phase was like the most annoying bottleneck with um, uh, Rildo and that dumbass random sentinel. Uh, I did get past it a couple of times, as annoying as it was. Um, let's see, who should we get rid of? We should definitely focus tech. Fuck off, tech. Bye bye, tech. No one likes you. Um, and I got to the final stage with Baby and all those other drainers a couple of times. Uh, but I never was able to finish it. I was never able to get it out there. Oh shit, I forgot this guy. I forgot these guys countered. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I legit forgot. I, I forgot they could do that. That's actually really badass. Um, it's kind of a shame that I was actually playing Cell Max a couple of times. I was running through. Uh, lost so far. I got close one time. But it's so annoying that Cell Max doesn't do a Key Blast Super or a Physical Super. It's just like some other one. It's so dumb, like, it's so stupid that you can't counter any of his moves. I feel like that's something that, like, every ball should have. Like, it should either be physical or it should be key blast, like, no matter what. Because it's kind of bullshit, like, Selmax comes, he hits you, that's physical. And, god damn, bro, this guy is showing out. Well, this guy's 100%, so kind of makes sense that he's out here showing out so hard. Um, but yeah, Selmax starts off physical, he punches you in the face, and then, and then he shoots a beam at you, and then they deem it like, well, obviously, this is a beam super attack. Why, why would we, why would you allow you to, to counter that at all? Um, but, uh, yeah, these, these units are pretty cool. I, I think what they did with the whole, like, um, the whole, let's see, I guess we should get rid of this guy, just in case, I don't want them. Uh, I don't want uh, the in androids dying here. Um, I think the whole thing they did with like the uh, power boost that they gave these characters for Cell Max was a little bit corny, but it wasn't that bad. Like it's not like Dragon Ball Legends where literally if you have the card you can actually interact with the stage, and if you don't, you don't even get to play it. Um, like with Beast Gohan and, and Orange Piccolo, but with these guys it seems like. You do more damage on Cell Max, because I noticed that immediately. I was like, god damn, like, why are we doing so much damage? It, apparently they get a damage increase. Um, and it's a little bit annoying that they, like, specifically make certain units do extra damage. And, like, it gives you an incentive to summon, I guess. Um, but I think in general it wasn't that bad. I mean, you could beat Cell Max without those units. You don't need them. But when it comes to the missions that they added, I find it hard to believe that you're going to be able to do that unless you do indeed um, have these units. Like, you would not do androids without these guys. You would not do um, special pose. Special pose is literally not possible. So far, the one video I saw from The Truth is that he did special pose, and in order to even get another slot unit is that he used a rainbow SSR version of the SDR android uh or gamma one which is insane like that's fucking that's that's really like you know 
That's technically what eight copies. That's insane. That's fucking only only a whale of that magnitude can pull that off. So when it comes to special pose, and obviously that's JP, so you have Jacko too. So it's a little bit more difficult on global. Um, it's just such an L. But I think in general, I think one one thing that I realize is for okay, this looks this is looking okay. I would love to focus tech honestly. Hmm, maybe we should just focus STR, because I'm not going to be doing a lot of damage attack, honestly. We'll focus STR, and we'll damage down attack for next turn. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, with, uh, uh, with the, um, what was I saying? I was saying something. When it comes to... Uh, the cell max event with these units, they do a lot better uh, and for those missions, but it's not the end of the world. I think cell max, like, when they released it, was, like, ridiculously difficult. I mean, after you go back and look at the different op uh, options and different things, it's not as crazy, especially with how many different units are uh, decent uh, in that space. Um, but I think that it's a little weird that they still didn't awaken the Gohan. I guess they're waiting to release maybe Beast Gohan. And then after they release the Beast Gohan, that's when they're going to go ahead and, like, awaken the AGO Gohan. Because it, it kind of seems like they're doing, like, an OG UI Goku thing where, like, the Fi UI Goku came out in the event. It wasn't until, like, ages later that you finally got, um... Ooh, I think this should be okay because we're going to take damage reduction. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> like, you're literally taking fucking thousands and then double digits. Um... Alright, let's focus this Rodo, man. Fuck, this Rodo is getting the fuck out of here. This guy is getting cooked. You are getting cooked, my friend. Jesus. So, let's see. I mean, I'm pretty sure this Gamma 1 could tank shit anyway, but... I think both these guys do physical super, so we'll just counter it, even if he's attacked. Yeah, the damn damage is fucking ridiculous. Holy shit. Um, I think these are very cool units. I think, they're, I, I think what they add to the game is... Not much in terms of changing the meta, but it's definitely fucking fun, and if you have both on the same team, they do stupid numbers. Like, this is insane, bro. Like, you don't know how good it feels to come back here after all this time, because this is, this is a hard event. Like, obviously, I'm blowing through it pretty good, but, you know, one bad super, I think these guys sh could still die, especially the Gamma 2. Um, beautiful. I love the super tech. Uh, especially the Gamma 2. So, I'm not, uh, I'm not one to faint of heart. Damn. You think I should use active skill? I don't know. I feel like it's kind of, get the fuck out of here. Put this ball in the fucking shower. Um, let's see. So, we have int, tech. Who would be best? Hmm. I think this guy is still pretty good to keep around for next turn, honestly. I think so. I think so. Let's see. Well, if I get a super with the androids, I am going to seal, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, let's just do this. So I'll get the seal with the androids. And uh, next turn, we could probably end this. Well, this is actually going pretty damn good. This is going pretty damn great, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, super, extreme super battle row. Super battle row in general is, is still pretty annoying and still pretty prone to death, especially this fucking stage. Uh, but it's just beautiful, bro. Coming here, seeing these people that cause me so much pain, so much suffering. Just getting out of here with the super gamma blast. One more. Mm, look at that. Look at that, bro. This guy tried to get away? This stupid sentinel robot tried to get away? Look at that. And... Bye-bye, stupid. Bye-bye, <laughs> idiot. Dude, that's, dude that is, that, that's satisfying, honestly. And right now we got Gamma 1 on rotation? Ooh-wee, this is going to be looking good. Oh boy, this is looking good to me. Um, shit, who should we focus? Let's focus Rildo. Rildo actually has quite a lot of HP here. Hmm. We can either focus AGL or we can focus Rildo. Which one? Well, you know what? We should just focus Baby, because I think... With tech next turn. Off color. If we don't get that block, that's not good. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then who should we damage down? 
We should probably damage down... Maybe baby. Maybe damage down baby in case we don't kill him, maybe. Let's see. Damn, these are a lot of attacks coming from my head. Okay, alright. Yeah, dude, I, and I, I love the way they designed the character. The fact that the first four turns you're taking reduced damage and the and you're building up the passive. That's really something they should have done for Metal Cooler. I mean, Metal Cooler really needs it. Like, unless you pop a Whis and let him just take hits. Uh, okay, this is a beam attack, I guess. Yeah, I guess it was. Uh, unless you pop a Whis and just let him take random hits, it's going to be something where, like, you're taking so much damage, it's just ridiculous. Meanwhile, with this with this setup and this design, it's, like, ridiculously better. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my God, we're going to kill Baby turn one. Hold on. Hold on, i gotta, I got to see this in full glory. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful, dude. That is beautiful. Holy moly guacamole. And then I'm pretty sure this guy has guaranteed guard here because there's three or more. That's one thing I, I wish... If they gave this guy guaranteed guard all the time, it'd be ridiculous. Uh, I guess it's pretty good against, like, tech, but... All right, let's let's get the let's see two five five, two seven seven. Let's get this Delcon Super. By the way, isn't it odd that it didn't let me get what I wanted to get there? Like I wanted all those AGL and it didn't let me get it. I think we're still gonna get the Delcon Super regardless, but kind of dumb. All right, okay, Delcon mode activated. Beautiful, amazing. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness, this is delicious, bro. This is one of those things, like, th this is like when every once in a while I'll go back and I'll fuck up Broly too, like the OG STR Broly. Just because that was one of the most annoying events in the game. It's almost crazy to think how much time I spent on that event. And now you can literally go in and just roll it in like one second. The same thing is true for the um, STR Omega. When STR Omega first came out on Global... I think that's probably, other than Broly, that's the hardest Dokkan event, because I did it without Omega, first of all, and I did it without any, like, I didn't have much GT characters, I think I had two, and, um, I think in general, that was, like, the hardest Dokkan event that I did in a while, and doing that event felt so good. Same thing with beers. That's one thing, I, I, that's another thing, when you think about the difficulty of this game, Dokkan events used to be hard, they used to have gimmicks, they used to be something that like was interesting to watch now it's just like okay go in I, I press button i get metal you know it's like a grind fest and i'm not saying that dokkan events have to be ridiculously difficult but every once in a while like there's a dokkan event that come out like for example remember rage goku the namek str rage goku his dokkan event you could die like you would take 200k super sometimes which gave you an air of like oh you got to be careful you got to be you know you got to be cautious it at least gave you something. I think that the one thing the game has lost is the whole idea of, like, like tactic. Like, one thing that I loved about the game at some point in time is that you could always use stun, damage down, stun especially, stun, damage down, um, dodge. I don't, I never really used dodge, but you could use those items to, like, tactically play the game. And if you played it a certain way, you would never get hit. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think the devs f did move away from that because then what would end up happening is that the only character you would want is characters who stun. Because if you get a stun, you take no damage. And they started moving away from that, which I understand it. It made the game harder. But also made the game a lot less fun, in my opinion, because there's literally so many characters that, you know, you could get a guaranteed crit or a guaranteed um, stun and you don't care. Like, like Vegeta. STR Vegeta is like irrelevant in everything but super battle road because nothing really even dokkan events don't even let you like stun anymore but it is what it is the game changes it's been seven years i mean the fact that the game has existed this long is a fucking miracle in and of itself but we did it we finally did it super battle road androids no items uh these guys are really good they're actually very interesting i think that arguably this guy is like no brainer the better unit if you're gonna have just him he, he can run by himself this guy's very good too he does build up defense and he does you know quite well and he obviously does more damage um but when you look at this guy compared to this guy 
you you can have Gamma 1 without 2, but you can't really have 2 without 1 because he doesn't do much blocking. Even with, like, at the end there with uh, Dr. fucking GT Jero, he did, like, 70k with a normal. That's pretty damn a lot. That's pretty high. So, you, you low-key need the Gamma 1. But the, the fit is fresh. Everything looks good to me. We got the W. And at the end of the day, those Dragonstones were well spent. Thank God I didn't use it to invest in the stock market.